It's the aviary. Hello guys, welcome back to D. Hakim's aviary. We saw how a pair of oriental magpie robins fight over a nest with a male barbet in the previous episode. But now, the same oriental magpie robins have had chicks, although they have had to give up their nesting holes and move elsewhere. Without further ado, let's take a look at them. Guys, here we have guests every day, mostly my friends. But at this busy time, we have good news about the oriental magpie robin. Yes, so, what happened? Yesterday I was sitting around here watching the birds. Then I saw a male oriental magpie robin behaving very aggressively towards the other birds. He is very protective of this area. Usually, he's a bit fierce, isn't he? But yesterday, he was even more fierce. Once a bird passes by, he immediately chases and beats it. Then, yesterday I also checked this glodok nest. The female bird is inside, while the male is flying back and forth carrying crickets and giving them to the female. At first, I thought he was feeding the incubating female. But it turns out. Thank God, there are not only eggs in here. It turned out that the oriental magpie robin couple was feeding their chicks earlier. Thank God. Only two eggs hatched. So, it turns out that the male oriental magpie robin brings the insects so that he and his partner can feed their young. Of the three eggs in the nest, two have hatched. Hopefully, the remaining egg can hatch soon. But maybe some of you wonder why the oriental magpie robin couple inhabited the glodok nest. Didn't they already occupy the tree hole in the previous episode? Oh guys, this is too. That's where the oriental magpie robin pair make their nest. But the question is, what happens to the nest in the hollow of the tree? The strongest possibility is that that bird took the hole. Oh, the barbet. Barbet usually stays here. Guys, usually, he is here every afternoon and evening. Now he is no longer here. Maybe because of the constant flooding. Yes, maybe because of the flood, he looked for another place or hole. That means we'll have to investigate his whereabouts this afternoon. This is my best friend, Kukut. It's the coolest bird here, isn't that right? Right. This bird can be summoned. Fly over there, Kut. Go, go. Your name is Kukut. All right, you go there. He was perched there. Come on. You don't want to perch, never mind, it's okay. Watching birds breed successfully is one of the greatest sources of joy for bird lovers, and so is Irfan and his team. However, a few days after the Kasser eggs hatched, an unexpected event occurred. Faint. Where? Oh my god. Grosbeak starling, which was just released a while ago, suddenly turned out like this. What happened to him? My dear, <coughs> he fainted. Kong Pio. Did he fight or something? I do not know. Please try to save him. I think he fought with an oriental magpie robin. Magpie robin is dangerous. But earlier, I saw this bird flying as usual. Please save him. He's chubby, though. Yes, save him. I don't know if he got beat up by a magpie robin or just overheated. The air is too hot. Overheated. Hasn't this area been watered in a long time? Maybe. It could be because of the heat. It could be because another bird beat it. But his body is really hot. 
There are two possibilities why he fell earlier. First, he felt it was too hot, so he perched on top and didn't want to come down to drink. The second possibility, he was beaten by a magpie robin. Even though his body is plump, he suddenly falls in the Aldebar cage area. Oh my god, I was shocked to see it. This happened because the water spray machine was turned on too late. The weather today is indeed very hot. Hopefully, he recovers quickly. Kong Pio, Kong Bagus, let's take care of this Grosbeak Starling. Okay guys, now let's see the development of the condition of Grosbeak Starling. Who had fallen ill due to a heat stroke. After about a month of our care, finally, this bird is healthy again and ready to be released. Hopefully, our expectations are not wrong. In the past, we have released female Grosbeak starling. This is the male bird. He was the one who ran away from the cage. I've taken care of him, and he's starting to get better. No, my words were wrong. He has recovered, can feed himself, and should be released so that he can meet his partner because his partner had already been released. Usually, I feed this bird crickets and vitamins. If he stays in the cage for too long, I'm afraid he'll stiffen up in flight. So he has to be released quickly. Let him jump between the trees. So he doesn't fall again. Hopefully, he will be fine. After getting a long and intense treatment, thankfully, this Grosbeak starling is finally fit again. And today, we can immediately release them again to meet the female who has been wary of her partner's condition since their separation. How does Kong Pio take care of the bird? And how long does the treatment process take? The process is quite long. What was his initial condition like? He couldn't grip. Oh yeah, after falling from above, he's awake, but his legs are stiff, aren't they? Yes, like that. Since he couldn't perch, I put him on a cloth, and then I splashed his body with water. You see, when I hold it, his body is very hot. After that, I cool the body. He can't feed himself, so he has to be fed. As usual, when handling birds like that, we have to feed them. But now, we can release it. Oh yeah, where's the bird? Bring it. We'll see, this is the condition of Grosbeak starling now. Hello. Are you feeling well? He just took a shower. Thank goodness. Are you well, son? Don't get sick again, okay? Now you have a partner. Your partner is waiting for you. You know, after we release it, we still have to monitor it. Even though he's free, it doesn't mean we abandon him. So even if he falls again after we release him, we can save him right away. Okay, got it. This is what aviaries are for. This is a monitoring area. Even though the birds here are free, that doesn't mean we don't have the responsibility to monitor them. Grosbeak Starling, whose life was on the line, was fortunately saved thanks to the extraordinary care from my keepers. Bagus and Kong Pio, get ready. Focus. And now it's time for Grosbeak Starling to fly again. Go ahead, Mr. Grosbeak Starling, meet your mate, and have offsprings quickly. Thank you all for the prayers.
Okay guys, Grosbeak Starling has been released again. So come on, subscribe to DHakim's Aviary and stay tuned for our next story. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum.